Today is day 22 of the blessed month of Ramadan and as we have been going through this series of traditions on the importance of the Quran with this hope in mind, this intention in mind that we are able to develop a closer love and affinity and awareness for the book of Allah we come across a beautiful tradition that we want to share today which has been reported to be from the messenger of Allah the Prophet Muhammad, may God's peace and blessings be upon him and his family. And in the tradition, he shares with us a few important points to keep in mind. In these times where we live in spiritual darkness, where there are deviations and corruptions plaguing the world, the Prophet has given us the antidote, the key, the special elixir to how to deal and cope with the problems that we see in modern society in today's day and age. And the Blessed Prophet says the following to us. Whenever the waves of calamities encompass you like the dark night, seek refuge with the Qur'an, for it is an intercessor whose intercession will be accepted. One who takes it as a guide, Allah will lead that person into heaven, and whoever disregards it or goes against it, it, will be, it he will be led into the hellfire. The Blessed Prophet of Islam shares with us a few points for all of us to ponder and reflect upon in these last days and nights of the month of Ramadan. The first is where he tells us that Whenever calamities encompass us, whenever tri tri tribulations and tragedies and confusion come upon us, just like the dark night comes upon us every night when the sun sets, he says, seek refuge with the Qur'an. Go to the Qur'an and seek guidance and, and light and inspiration from the words of Allah because it is the intercessor whose intercession will definitely be accepted. Now we live in a 21st century era with much progress in terms of science and technology and means of communication and means of transportation and the modes of, of, uh, you know, of, of, of travel in this world. But yet we see that there are so many problems plaguing the world. There are so many challenges that each and every country in the world, without exception, are facing one way or the other, whether we know about it and whether it's covered in the media or it is covered under, under the you know, guise of, of, mother, of, of many other events happening around the world. Whatever the case may be, we see that calamities are plaguing us as humanity around the world. And the Prophet shows us that the only key to salvation is to return back to the Qur'an, to re return back to the teachings of Allah, and to seek inspiration and guidance, and ask the Qur'an to step in and intervene and help us in our times of challenge and difficulty. The Prophet tells us at the end of the tradition that Allah will lead that person into heaven who takes the Qur'an as his guide meaning that we need to follow the Qur'an, not that we expect the Qur'an to follow our own whims and dictates and desires, but rather that we take a cue and follow behind the teachings of the Qur'an if we want to go to heaven and if we want to lead a fruitful life in this world. And also he says that whoever disregards it, whoever ignores, whoever turns away from the Qur'an, that they will be led into the fire of hell. Not only the hell, hell fire which is for perpetuity, for eternity, but also that we will lead a life of difficulty, of trouble, of turmoil in the life of this world. And so the Qur'an, if we ask it to help us, if we ask it to guide us, it will lead us to the path of salvation, the path of felicity, the path of success. And God forbid if we were to throw the Qur'an behind our backs and ignore it, then we would have lost out on the benefits of this world and the world to come. We ask the Almighty Creator to give us the ability to continue to fast, and to worship and to read the Quran in these remaining days and nights of the month of Ramadan. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.